There's two ways to insert a symbol, and the first way is just to come, like, let's say we want to put the copyright symbol just before Dreamforce. Well, you can simply type it because Microsoft Word has an autocorrect feature that if it recognizes what you're trying to do, so I do an open parentheses, letter C, and a close parentheses, automatically converts that to a symbol, the copyright symbol. Like I said, that's one way. I'm going to hit end on the keyboard and hit the space bar several times, and let's insert some other symbols. Going on the Insert tab, coming over to the Symbols group and clicking on the Symbols drop-down button, you can see we've got a few listed here, Registered and Trademarks. Or we can go to More Symbols and just go really nuts on this. And you can see a list here. You can scroll through them just by the basic symbols, the font type, where you can click on the drop-down arrow. And let's say we want something a little bit more graphical, like have you heard of Wingdings? Anyways, I scroll down here. Let's look at Webdings. Oh, look at that. That's all fancy. You even have call-outs here. Scroll through, find a, a little symbol that you like. Uh, once you select it, like maybe an ambulance, go ahead and select it, click Insert. And there's nothing fancy that happens. Just after you click Insert, it shows that this the most recently used, but you want to click Close, and there it is. Of course, if that symbol's looking a little anorexic, you could always just like with text. And you can either right-click to bring up your little shortcut bar here and change the font size and say, let's go something bigger like 16. And that might work for you. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.